Okay, so here's a video that many of you requested, the all new Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus versus the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, if you have been following the channel for a while, then you probably saw my full review of the Galaxy Tab A9 here. And in that review, I actually was recommending that most people go for the S6 Lite. Now, after thoroughly testing, you know, both tablets and putting them side by side, I'm starting to change my mind about which tablet you should go for. Now, I wasn't necessarily wrong for recommending that people go for the S6 Lite, but I think it's a more of a nuanced conversation that we will be having in this video, right? So let's start off this way. If you are in the market for either one of these two tablets and you are looking for the better performer, the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is the way to go. Now, it's not, you know, lapping this thing, the S6 Lite, you know, in terms of performance, but it certainly performs better than the S6 Lite, which I was actually, surprised to see. If you are in the market for either one of these two, but instead you are looking for an introduction to using a native stylus, then you should go for the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite because of course it does come with a stylus included. As I mentioned, this is a conversation that's not really just black and white. It's a little bit more nuanced than me telling you go buy this or go buy that. It obviously will depend on your needs and what you are looking for. With that being said, let's go ahead and start off with the physical attributes of either one of these two tablets. Starting off here with the power button, you have power button, volume rockers on either one of these two. You have USB type C port. You have the micro SD card slot, meaning you have the ability to expand the internal storage of either one of these two tablets at up to one terabyte, right? And, you know, just to put things in perspective, the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus here does come with a standard or base 64 gigs of internal storage. That means you can turn that 64 gigs to one terabyte. And the same goes for the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. It does come with 64 gigs of internal storage that you can expand at up to one terabyte. Along with the 64 gigs that you get in terms of storage for either one of these two tablets, you also get four gigs of RAM. Here's one difference between the S6 Lite here and the A9 Plus. If you were to go for the next config on the A9 Plus here, meaning the 128 gigs of internal storage, you get eight gigs of RAM. Whereas on the S6 Lite, even if you were to go for the 128 gigs of internal storage, you still only get four gigs of RAM. So that's already one major difference here. And by the way, I'm gonna have some links in the description so that you could go ahead and take advantage of the latest discounts on these two tablets here, the latest lowest prices that you can find these tablets for. So make sure to check out those links. Anyways, going back to the physical attributes of the tablet, you have a headphone jack at the bottom of the A9 Plus, where you also have a headphone jack, but this time at the top of the S6 Lite. Here's one difference that you will immediately notice on the physical aspect would be the speakers on either one of these two tablets. On the A9 Plus here, you had a quad speaker setup, meaning you get four speakers, which by the way, are actually pretty loud. So you get four speakers here. The placement is just perfect. So even if you were to cover the two speakers at the bottom of each side, sound would still come out here and still be able to enjoy, you know, media, playing games, whatever the case may be. Whereas on the SX Lite, you get a dual speaker setup. So only two speakers as opposed to four on the A9 Plus. So SX Lite, two speakers, but it's still pretty good placement because even if you were to hold your tablet this way, it still leaves space open for those speakers, you know, to push out sound. And here is the difference. Well, here's another difference I should say. You have four speakers here, right? You only get two speakers on the S6 Lite. The speakers on the A9 Plus are louder for sure compared to what you have on the S6 Lite. But the difference here is that the speakers on the S6 Lite are crisp. They are clean, they are clear. The sound quality is much better on the S6 Lite than what you have on the A9 Plus here. So that's as far as physical attributes go. Let's go ahead and talk cameras really quick. You're gonna have the same camera, so eight megapixel on either one of these two. These cameras are not top notch, right? They're not made for you to make, you know, family videos or anything like that. They're made for you to be able to scan documents and live, you know, even take some videos here and there. But it's not for you to post on Instagram as top notch videos or anything like that. So they are functional for what they are. 
On the front, you have five megapixel cameras on either one of these two tablets. Again, these are not made for you to record videos that you're gonna be, you know, record high definition videos. These are good for conference calls and things like that. As long as your setting is well lit, you know, if you have lights and things like that, people will be able to see you well. But if you are in a dark area, you're definitely gonna get some video or, you know, image noise, right? So keep that in mind when you are calling grandma or calling your friends and things like that. Another thing that I wanna highlight here is that on the S6 Lite, which is an older tablet, by the way, this is the Tab S6 Lite, the 2022 model, right? So the one that's more powerful than the initial one. But anyway, so you have the camera located on the short of the tablet there. Not really great because that means you'll be holding your tablet this way. Whereas on the Tab A9 Plus, it is located in landscape mode. So you can actually hold it this way when you are communicating with grandma. All right, so with all of that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into the performance. I mentioned earlier that if you wanted to go ahead and, you know, pick the better performer, it would be the A9 Plus. So you have a Snapdragon chipset here. It is loaded with a Snapdragon 695 versus the Snapdragon 720 that we have in the S6 Lite, but still it performs slightly better. As I mentioned, it's tagged with four gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM, depending on the model that you buy on the A9 Plus here versus the Snapdragon 720 here, it's only tagged with that four gigs of RAM with the S6 Lite. When it comes down to gaming, definitely better on the A9 Plus here, definitely smoother, right? It's not super buttery smooth like you would get from, I don't know, a flagship tablet, but when it comes to those heavy games, it definitely is smoother than it is the case on the S6 Lite. Now, when it comes down to, you know, light or medium games, yeah, those will play without any issues. You are gonna be just fine. You also do have the support for Samsung DeX on either one of these two tablets, right? Samsung DeX allows for you to be flexible and multitask as much as you would like, right? You're able to toggle back and forth in between different windows and things like that. So you have the support for that program on either one of these two tablets. The difference here is that it will come to the experience. Your user experience using Samsung DeX on the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is gonna be different than that of the S6 Lite because you have the S Pen, which is a fantastic stylus, is certainly going to enhance your user experience on the S6 Lite here because you'll be able to take down notes, you'll be able to use it, you know, to toggle in between windows and do a number of things. It is loaded with a number of features, not available, obviously, on the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus there. So gaming, definitely, a9 Plus, a slight edge, right? Even at boot up, it actually boots up a little bit faster than the S6 Lite. It loads apps slightly faster again, but when it comes down to multitasking, you know, you're definitely gonna be able to multitask here, but with the help of the S Pen, you'll be able to do other things that you can't do on the A9 Plus here. Still talking performance, let's go ahead and talk display. The A9 Plus here is an 11 inches tablet versus a 10.4 inches with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here. The resolution is about the same, just off by some pixels. I believe the S6 Lite here, you're looking at 1200 by 2000 from what I remember with the previous one versus 1200 by 19, 20, I believe, with the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. Now you might think, okay, the S6 Lite is a slightly smaller tablet and it seems to have a little bit more pixels, so it should be a better display, but you'd be wrong. Somehow, Samsung made the A9 Plus's display here better because even though it doesn't, it has a little bit less, or the PPI is not as dense as what you have with the S6 Lite, it's still a better display in terms of sharpness and even in terms of brightness for some reason. On top of that, the A9 Plus does support 90 Hertz refresh rate, right? So things are definitely smoother on the A9 Plus versus the S6 Lite here, especially when you're scrolling through things, even gaming or watching movies, right? Definitely better on the a9 plus here. Now, it might come down to your preference, but I'm gonna say that because it's a bigger tablet and it's brighter and seems to be a tiny bit sharper when you really put them side by side and really look, I think you can enjoy media on the 
A9 Plus here, slightly better, and I truly mean slightly better than you would on the S6 Lite. As I mentioned, that's just because the display is slightly better, but when it comes down to just watching movies and things like that, the S6 Lite is also a fantastic tablet for watching movies and all that type of stuff. So. The Edge is definitely for the A9 Plus, but not by that much. Let's go ahead and talk battery here, the A9 Plus. In terms of battery, I mean, from what I remember with the S6 Lite when I first bought it, I feel like I'm getting about the same. Now, keep in mind that this is gonna be all subjective, right? It's gonna depend on how you use your tablet, the way you use it, how often you use it, and all that good stuff. So it's gonna be subjective. I can't really tell you, you know, how, how long it's gonna last exactly with you but i can tell you that with either one of these two tablets you are definitely going to see the entire day before you put it back on charger at the end of the day assuming of course you are an average user and in terms of charging you can charge them at up to 15 watt either one of these two tablets now i'm not going to keep going with this let me just go ahead and close the video here as i mentioned at the beginning of the video if you're looking for the better performer the a9 plus is the better performer not by a whole lot but a slightly better performer. But if you are looking for something that's gonna allow for you to take advantage of the stylus, that S Pen, go for the S6 Lite. So it's kind of tough for me to recommend which one is the better tablet because people have different needs and some people, you know, to some people who need the S Pen to take down notes, the A9 Plus here is not even an option. They wouldn't even look at it, right? On the other hand, to people who don't care about the S Pen or about having a stylus, the A9 Plus here would be the better tablet. So in order for me to recommend something, you know, that is specific to you, let me know in the comment section what you're looking for. Let me know what your situation is. That's really the best way for me to determine which one is gonna be better for you. Let me know in the comment section, also if you own either one of these two or if you own both, what your experience has been like. I would love to get that back and forth going with you. Don't forget to share the video, of course, if you know anyone who will be interested. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video, up until that next video, of course, as always. Stay safe out there.